Hi everyone, welcome to the IPFS core implementations weekly call for Monday the 30th of March 2020. We are uh, slightly down on numbers today, but that's fine. People are going to leave um, their updates async in the document, which would be great. Uh, so we have a note taker away. Uh, if everyone could put their name in the attendee list, that would be rad. Um, and then we can start going through the initiatives. Uh, so the first one is uh, upcoming and ship releases. Um, we give a quick JSIPFS update. I'm basically going to ship it now. Now, so as soon as CI is finished, going to ship uh, 42. Um, it's going to be amazing. Well, it's, it's going to be okay. It's a bug, re bug fix release, basically. Uh, uh, it's going to be smaller and faster and more focused, um, but with no big kind of features. But that's fine because a steady release cadence is more important than big kind of features. Um, so, yeah. Can anyone talk to the Go IPFS release? How is 0.5 going? Yeah. Um, the content routing team is taking their day off today. Uh, so we don't have Stephen today. Uh, he was up late last night uh, merging a bunch of stuff for the first release candidate of 0.5, but it doesn't look like that got cut, so I would expect that Tuesday. Um, but that is also imminent to get a release candidate out. Sounds good. Uh, upgrading testing infra slash process. Anyone, can anyone talk about that? Don't look like anyone relevant is here. Uh, content routing, they're all taking the day off. Subdomain gateway, hi Lidl, you arrived just in time. Subdomain gateway is okay, do you need just right? You're a bit quiet, it must be the fur. Is it better now? Not really. Did you just get a shiny new microphone? I know, that's why it's not set up properly. I think you can change the input volume and the preferences. I should try to look there first thing. I don't think it will get better than this. Um, okay, I'll just move closer to the speakers. All right, uh, so uh, for the subdomain gateways, uh, changes uh, to IPFS companion are still work in progress. Uh, I hoped to ship a better release, uh, and like next better release and be already in the stable channel right now, but uh, there, there, there are like various edge cases that I need to cover. Uh, and like I shot myself in the foot because there are so many tests in IPFS companion <laughs> it's impossible to break anything, <laughs> so I need I just need uh, a little bit more time to clear up the, uh, that. Um, that's the only update I have on this front. Um, but overall, um, the proxy mode works really well. Uh, I tested it on uh, Linux distributions without proper DNS uh, resolver, uh, apart from the one I had locally, and uh, it works everywhere. So. It's just a matter of shipping that. Um, I believe that's it on my end. Uh, there's a sort of like a related uh, grant for native protocol handler, which builds on top of subdomains. So subdomains bring uh, CID to be uh, CID to be a basis for the origin, uh, and the protocol handler would uh, effectively uh, make that the only thing that uh, is used for building the origin. Uh, I'll put a link uh, into the notes uh, to the issue if anyone is interested. That's it for my end. Awesome. Uh, Bits of updates, no dark on cool. Stream based content. Stream content based chunking research and improvements. Pizza's not on the call. Uh, Rust IPFS initiative. No. Other initiatives. UnixFS. No updates here. Hey, folks, I'm here. I'm here. Speak. Hey. Um, 
Yeah, we just finished the uh, phase 1.1, which is, uh, if I recall correctly, pub sub swarm uh, ID and version of uh, the APIs, and we're working on block DAG refs and. Now I'm gonna completely space because I'm walking around and my kids are running around here. Um, but one of the other ones. Um, the big thing, the big question that we have as we plan phase two is going to be which of the endpoints are going to be most useful to people um, as we move forward. And getting feedback from protocol labs would be really helpful there. Um, we do have community contrib contributions right now, unsolicited ones, which is really exciting. Uh, one of which is the pin APIs. So somebody contributed that just you know out of the blue. So if you're thinking about which endpoints and APIs are going to be the most useful moving forward, uh, omit pin because I think we're going to get that covered. So anything else that people want to weigh in on and let us know what we should include for phase two, um, that would be really helpful. That's it from us. Are you running the um, interface tests against the Rust implementation? That's correct. Interface and interop. Um, there's going to be some refactoring required for interface and interop. For example, like block get reuses the ipfs.add instead of ipfs block put. Examples like that. So we're going to be making some PRs to um, the interface chain, you know, tests and stuff like that and interop as well. But uh, otherwise it's going so far. We have 33 passing interface tests so far and we'll be including them as we move forward. So, yeah. You can see all the details of this in the dev grants repo. We have grant reports for each phase that goes through the details and I'm always available to answer questions or uh, reach out if you have anything to say or suggest. That is super exciting. Thanks, everybody. Anybody got any questions? Cool. Uh, so, and forms, not like the distributed signaling, no Jacob. Uh, migration to multi hash keys and block store, no Hector. Design review proposals. Anybody want to propose anything for a design review? So, the ultimate bike shedding. No, cool. Blockers slash asks. Anyone blocked on anything? I'm frequently blocked by my own ineptitude. And that's about it. Questions? Anybody have any questions they need answered? Parking lot? Amazing. I think we're done. Thanks for coming, everyone. That has been the IPFS Core Implementations Weekly Sync for Monday, the 30th of March, 2020. Uh, I've been making brain. You've been amazing. I'll see you all on the internet. Bye.